Hello my beauty buddies, my July Birchbox is here. If you're not familiar with Birchbox, it's $10 a month and it is a usually very cute box inside of a shipping box. So you can totally reuse this because it's a perfect shape because it's been protected. I only set up for Birchbox in June because Tati had a special where for $1 you got a month of Birchbox. So uh, it was fine. I only paid a dollar for it, so I'm certainly not going to complain about last month's box because obviously it was worth it. And I mean, the products were pretty good. They didn't thrill me, but you know, heck, it was a dollar. So I thought I'll let this ride and see what I get. I'll show you what I got. Um, it comes with a little card. This one is actually about benefit and a special offer where if you order, you get a free, you know, mascara or eyeliner or something. Um, so that's what that is. And this is the card that has the information about what's, you know, in here and what the full price is. So, um, that's that. And my box, I have a little Oreeb dry texture spray. And I haven't used this brand of it before. Actually, I'm curious what it kind of smells like. Let's see. Let's wait. What's wrong with this? It doesn't. Is it locked? Hang on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's just really hard to shoot. Let's see if it. Oh my God. You know what? It's like really hard to do. I think there's something wrong with this. Because unless I like use my thumb. Whoa. God, I hope I didn't just get the camera. Oh, jeez. I did. Shoot. Okay, let's try this again and see if I can do it in my hair now. Whoa. Okay, so apparently it just needs a little bit of priming or something. Oh my God. So let's see if I can get some nice volume going. It looks like a bit here and it has a really nice smell. So, okay. I like this. This is supposedly a $10 value. So I do like this. Now I love Dr. Brand products. This is the Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. And uh, this is how much? A quarter of an ounce. So this will be very nice. I really like this. The next item is by Kula and it's a sunscreen SPF 30 for your face. And let's see what, oops, it's got the little silver thingy. Let's see what this is like. Um, I've received a lot of sunscreens lately. I don't think, now I do have something by Kula. I was just gonna say, I, I got, I've got a ton of super goop lately, but let's see what this looks like. You know, it just goes on rather, you know, thin, which is nice for your face. Oh yeah, so it looks like it's a very light, ooh, it smells like cucumber. So that's kind of good. So yeah, it went right in and I don't look shiny and I don't look white or anything. And it says it's a broad spectrum. Oh, it's organic. Okay, plus plant protection. I remember June Jacobs Spa once had one where it had like tomatoes in it or tomato skin something because the tomatoes can repel the sun. They're out there, you know, getting all ripe and nice and taking in tons of sunlight. So um, I guess that's good. Maybe cucumbers have that too. So I'll like trying this one. The next item is by Stila, and this was one of the spoilers that everybody was excited about. Um, I was kind of excited about it, but I wasn't like dying excited about it. This is the uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. So, oh, you know what's funny? I guess I wasn't really paying attention. Stay All Day. I wonder if it really will stay a long time. That'll be interesting. I'll have to try it on when I don't have other lipstick on. I should have done this. I should have put this on when I got ready. Sorry, I'm just running out like a crazy person. It's very thin feeling. Hmm. I hope that, like, I can't even really see, but let's see. I hope I've got it on the right areas here. So that's the color. So it's rather bright. Here, I'll swatch it on my hand too. It's maybe more fair. Yeah, it's very bright. So generally brighter um, than what I wear, but I might, you know, kind of tone it down with maybe a little bit of gold powder or, you know, a different type of a gloss or something. So. Um, this is nice and I will have to see how long this stays. I wonder how long it'll stay on my hand. Oh my gosh, I used that Laura Geller spackle stuff that came in one of my, whatever my last box was that I did and I swatched it on my hand and I washed my hand and it stayed. I showered, I mean everything. The next day I still had some of it on there so that stuff is like glue. And I wore it under eyeshadow the other day and it really, 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 really stayed great. So um, that is pretty good stuff so just, Anyway, back to this box. Then here there's the Benefit They're Real Beyond Mascara. I have not tried this yet, so this will be interesting to see. I'm generally not a giant Benefit fan, but uh, 
this is it. Let me see what the brush looks like on this. Cause I like usually the really big bushy brushes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a big one. It looks like it's that rubberized really kind of hard, you know, type of a, yeah, it is. It kind of reminds me of, uh, it's the gold packaged tart, um, mascara that it's like that kind of a brush, but I think theirs is actually wider apart, maybe bigger spikes sticking out of it. You know, it's not, this is a bad box and this is probably worth, you know, at least, I think the steel of that little lip gloss is worth like $10 supposedly and the Reeb thing is like $10 and the sunscreen and all the other stuff, let's just say, you know, another $10 or so. So it's probably about $30. Um, but I don't know, for some reason, it's not as exciting to me as my Ipsy bag has been. Maybe because there's usually something full-sized in there or there's a brush or something like that in there. So I don't know, I think between Ipsy and Birchbox right now, I still really think I like Ipsy better. Um, and again, this was fine. I do think I like this one better than the last Birch box that I got, my dollar Birch box. <laughs> I feel like this was worth uh, more to me because I, you know, like these products better. But um, I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to necessarily keep it. I get so many other boxes already, and just to get a bunch of deluxe samples, I don't know. I don't know if I really need it. So I don't know. We'll see. Just have to get online and cancel, I guess. But um, it was nice to try it. Nice to know that it's there. And you know, with Ipsy, you get the cute little bag too. And it's not always the best bag, but you know, they're useful and. And sometimes they're awesome. I don't know. So I like to know what you think. What do you think between Birchbox and Ipsy? And uh, which do you prefer and why? Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day or evening wherever you are.